What's up, bro? I just wanted to show you a few things that I would say are pretty common in most people's edits. So basically, these are actually in... So I don't know how your, yours is looking. This is my um, video from Ryan's um, recent thing that I made for him. But if you just go to infect, effects and you search up um, prism, right there, that it'll come up. It's basically, it just adds like... It adds like this 3D-ish, like this little glitchy effect. And basically, I'm not sure if you know, but about keyframing. So basically, if you, so basically you get a song or whatever. So basically in the Uzi song, like, right, like I made it so like the drop-ish, like the bass hits would be when he stepped over this, over this guy. So let me just key up a little bit. So like when he gets up, I don't know if you can, let me turn this volume up. Okay. So like, so like see how when he stepped, it like shook in like that. So I'll show you. So basically, let me zoom this in. So right, see how the music like went up? So the bass hit and you split the clip and basically, You'd have the prism at f 15, I mean, I usually do 15, whatever you would like. And then you use the arrow, the arrow key, the right arrow key, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I did eight in this case. And you'd click, okay, so you'd have it at 15, right? So it'd be like this. Then you'd click this button right here, add a keyframe. Okay, so it locks in 15. Then you go to your seven or your eight, and then you pull it, you drag this down to zero. So then if you like, just, I mean, just imagine, so it'd be like it'd come in and then it'd just like fade out. But since it's like on like a small, a small clip, so after the um, bass, the bass drop would hit, it would like fade out, which is obviously like what you want to make it, then you get that it comes this effect. And then, so that's one thing. Also, a lot of people like to use, like, I don't know, did I really use one? Let me just check real quick. Yeah, so on this one, I also, so I split it again on, on another drop. As you can see, like, right here, there's kind of a drop. People in here, so you go to blur. Let's see, prism. So directional blur is, like, So it'll come up like this, and obviously that's like direction, it's in the direction. So I already did it right, which it's right here. So it'll come up like that. You do the same thing, you choose how much you want, you click the keyframe, you go up however many you want, like that. And I obviously added more, th more effects on this, but like you can see it blurs and then it goes out which makes it more of like boom and then like how like a bass it'd come in and then it'd go so it's like that. So on like the bass it would it hits and then it fades out. So that's a few things. Also just transitions. You're going to want to you can see there's plenty of YouTube videos. I have a bunch I can, I mean I can show you some. You just literally like let's say I wanted this this thing. Just drag it and then you can Set the duration like that, and look. There you go, that's a transition. Also, I like to use, you can just look up literally, this is straight from Google. You just search up light leaks, and you get a cross, you search for transitions, you'd go cross dissolve, which is always the top one. Basically just fades it in. So basically, you can see if this will play. The orange shirt, you whatever, it just fades in uh. for a little bit. And then it fades out. I mean, it's pretty simple. These, I just, this thing, I just searched up, like, retro overlay. I like to use, it's like the little grainy, like this. You can see as it comes in, you see these little lines right here. That 
just keyframe through. And then that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously you can watch YouTube videos. There's a lot of free packs, like this loading thing. I, I literally just got, the, got that out of a pack from someone. And those are just simple text layers that I just faded in and out. These are cross dissolve transitions. So it's like more flowy. Another thing people do is, so you see this or like this, you probably already know about this rhyme movie, but you can like speed up, like speed ramping stuff. So let me lower this. Basically when he looked like over this defender, I like slowed it down right there. You probably, it's, it's pretty subtle. I just was trying to line it up with the, the orange face. Basically you can just, it just smooths it out. You speed stuff down, slow, sp speed stuff up, slow stuff down. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. And then, I mean, you put that together. I mean, obviously, you're not going to be perfect right away. You can just experiment with stuff. You also are going to want to download um, an adjustment layer into your titles because, for example, some videos like transition will mess will like cut into it so you'd make like an adjustment layer and then you put the effect of the transition on it and it'll still affect like the clip so on this I had like a zoom in for the bass hits because I didn't want to affect the clip so like I marked it you press M on your keyboard on the drop which is basically was like literally right there and then you just line up wherever this like I did like a zoom in effect, so basically wherever the zoomed in, I just put that over the base. And it's like boom, boom. So yeah, let me know if you need any more uh, tips, I got you.